Good morning, Commissioners. Mark Seligman, Selma, Oregon. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, increasing economic activity in Josephine County and things that are related to it. We all know the levy lost again. Uh, I would hope that the priority of this board from this point on should be increase the economic activity, jobs, not taxes. That should be your new priority. You should not ever attempt again to put on the ballot a tax levy. Uh, trust will be restored in this board slowly if you prove to people that you truly want to increase economic activity. The average income in Josephine County, I've researched this, is about 31000 Commissioners with benefits receive, I don't know, eighty, ninety thousand. 90000 I think your pay should be lowered considerably. Maybe not as low as 31000 but lowered considerably. However, like with any corporation, there are things called performance bonuses. If you can prove that you can bring in X amount of revenue, then you can probably recoup some of the money that you has been reduced. Again, you need to benefit the citizens and the county. The government can provide an overall economic climate conducive to economic growth. That's what you can do. Jobs, not taxes, should be priority. And that brings us to the number one industry in this county, which is cannabis. It is legal. <coughs> It is legal from a medical point of view, and it, will, it is now legal from a recreational point of view. Peter Gendron, who's one of the lobbyists for the Oregon Sun Growers, has told me there are 2,500 legal medical marijuana growers in this county. There are 5,000 cardholders. There are 10,000 employees, part or full time. The population of Josephine County is 80,000. One in eight people is involved in this industry. It produces at least 35 million in revenues. With legality, it will be even higher. The number one legal growing region in the United States is right here. We have the best climate. Now, what will happen when people start moving here because this is the number one growing region? Just like in California, they moved to Humboldt County. Real estate values will climb. Taxes are based on assessed values. As homes sell, the county will get more money. The ability of homeowners to refinance their houses increases when you have higher values. More money for homeowners, more money for them to spend. State payroll taxes will also increase. An employer is legal and they pay into this fund. The money eventually comes back in some part to Josephine County. We need legislators and commissioners to encourage this industry, not say nothing or go the other way. You look at communities like Garberville. Garberville is Cave Junction. Garberville was like Cave Junction 30 years ago. It no longer is. The Cannabis Industry will help this county, and I, I hope that people will also come next week to Grants Pass and protest what Grants Pass City Council is, is doing. Thank you.